I'm going to play a game of solitaire for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This is when you play four hands at one time to practice decision making through the whole game. If you have a set of tiles at home, you can do it too. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player 1 will get 14 tiles. Players 2, 3, and 4 will get 13 each. Then we'll look at each player's hand, decide where the strengths lie, make a plan, and start the game. Everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for player one, also known as East. Three flowers, northeast, south, pair of red dragons, nine bam, three, five, seven in dots, two, seven in cracks. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I'd focus on winds and dragons. Probably news with flowers, actually. So, you know, the other thing we could do is keep the sevens for maybe like numbers with sevens and news and break those up because we can't use those dragons with all these flowers. Unless we do just north and south with red, that could work, actually. Let's keep them. And we'll pass those three. And we'll see what we can do for player two, also known as South. Jokers, two, pair of flowers. Pong of West, a South, a red and a white, two, four, nine, or two, four and bams and a single nine. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I'd play a quint. So I'd let these go and keep the number tiles. We have to let one go because I would not pass south, red, white. I wouldn't do that. So I would probably let the four go. Edge tiles might be passed more than the middle tiles because the middle tiles are most efficient and would be used in consecutive run, which is the easiest category on the card. So let's test that theory. And now we can see what we can do for player three, also known as West. We almost have news missing a North. We have one, two, three, five, nine in dots with a pair of ones, one crack, five crack, and a four eight in BAMs. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would focus on either consecutive run one through five, most likely one through four, leveraging the ones or little odds, one, three, five. So I would let these go, the eight and the nine. Keep all these and see what happens. So let's pass those three. I try not to pass two wins, and a west-south is better than passing east-west for the next go round. It's kind of nice to think a pass ahead if you can, because if we get everything we want, we want to mitigate the risk in the next pass, if possible. 
Let's see what we can do for player four, also known as North. Wow, look at those dots. We have a joker in east, two, five, six, seven, eight in dots with a pair of fives and a pung of sixes. And then we have two, four, eight in bams. If those were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would play consecutive run five through eight. So I would keep that past these five, six, seven, eight of some kind. So let's pass those three. And we're going to do first right. First right, east to south, south to west, west to north, north to east. We wanted news. We have an east. Well, we could keep it. We could maybe pass those to see what happens. We have a potential quint in here. So we want to pair up. So I think it's arbitrary which one we keep. Edge tiles maybe would be most likely pass, but we want to still pass defensively. So let's stick with what we have. Okay, so we paired up. We got a four in there now. One, two, three, five, four, one, five. Now here, I would not pass all that. That's very risky. So I think what I would do here is maybe let the one go. There's a, a pair of souths. I would want to break that up though in case we get all tiles that fit there although I wouldn't pass that either. So let's start there. Now let's see what we can do for player four. Oh, we got a nine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's, that looks like the first hand under consecutive run. Here we have a pair of eights, but this looks pretty solid. I would just break that up and keep going. Play the first hand. We just need a nine dot to make that pretty strong, and then we can use this to help us with the eight at least, we need to build up that seven. So we did first right, now we're gonna go across. East and west, north and south. Oops. We have a south and a red. Okay, now I would probably play north and south with reds We'll have to let a flower go. And this, I would not pass like that. I would break up that. Focus on north and south with reds. I think that's what I would do. Because I, I don't pass like numbers generally. The other thing we could do is keep the east and let the reds go and pass like that and focus on winds. But we have a gap. Here, there's no gap, and we could Kong that red, so that's what I would do, I think. So we're going to look here now. We paired up. We've got our pair now, so we got to build up more, of course, but we could pass that. Focus on this quint. Oh, we have keepers. One, two, three, five. We're missing a four for a consecutive hand. I probably, since we have that pair of twos now, ooh, look at that. 
If we could get a three bam, we could play one, two, three, four, but that's a gap. So I probably would not do that. Here, we could fill the gap with a joker, just like we could with a, with a um, three bam. But we have a pair there too. I think I would let the four go and make that better. Just like that, let these go. Focus on one through five. No keepers. And I would probably pass just like that. Yeah. Yeah, six, one, half dozen, the other. Because we could do two, seven, two, eight, three. It's equally risky to two, nine, three. So, okay, everybody's ready to go. We're on our first left. So east to north, north to west, west to south, south to east. Okay, so here we're looking for north, north and south, north and south, okay. Well, no keeper. We did get another east. I would, oh, I think I would want to keep that because winds seem to be going around. Let's pass those. It's a little bit risky, but at least the eight is in a different suit. Okay, so let's look here. We got the West. Oh, wow. This worked out nice. And now that was first left. So we got to think about whether we want to stop the Charleston or keep going. I probably would keep going because we're going to either need a flower or an exact two. So I think the chances are pretty slim that we could bet we probably won't get keepers in the first or second left. So I think we should keep going. We want, oh, we got a keeper, a three. We need a four dot in there. Let's pass those three. That could be next. Here, we have a keeper. We can use this to help with the eight. We have tiles to pass. So everybody has three. We're going to keep on going. Same cycle. East to north. North to west, west to south, south to east. No keepers. We're looking for winds. Let's just keep passing. No keepers, but we got a two. I would still pass. We've got a nice looking quint coming here. We want a four dot specifically. So let's pass those. No keepers, we want dots. So I would just keep passing. We're going across. East to west. West to east. South to north. North to south. Oh, we got an east. I don't know if that's gonna be helpful there with this. We need a pair here. Oh, no, no, we don't even need that because we're trying for north and south with reds probably I would let this go we could maybe play news with four flowers but we have a gap and we'd have to throw away a pung of red dragons so let's see here no keepers no keepers we want a four dot there now what about this keep the white we could do single pair pung Single pair, pung, oh, four dot. That's a pretty big gap, even with that dragon. We could maybe pass those. No keepers. And we're on last right. East to south, south to west, west to north, north to east. No keepers. We got an east, but this looks pretty good to me. We could Kong here. All we need is a flower here, and we're set for the quint. Well, we're going to need another joker in there, too. So let's just stick with it. No keepers. 
and no keepers there. So now we are on optional crossed. So east and west, north and south, no keepers. We got a south and a four. I don't think so. I would just discard those. No keepers here. We really want a four dot. Here we want an eight dot probably or seven dot or nine dot even. So everybody has three tile. Oh, no, no. Yeah, three discards. We're done. We're done with the Charleston. If you want to be the fifth player and bet, pause the video and look at all the hands. Decide who you think has the best chance to win and write your guess in the comment section below. I can't find my better. Let's see. So I'm just going to use one of these. Oh my goodness. Oops. So I'll just pick one of these for who I think will win. Okay, we're ready to start discarding now. Let's start by discarding nine crack. Seven dot, we do not need, oh, let's let the south go. Joker, oh, that could be the four. Let's let this white dragon go, I think. One, three, five, dragon. We have no flowers and we'd have to let a pair go. Let's just keep it for a bit and discard the nine bam. Here we have joker bait. If you wanna know more about joker bait, look for links in the video description below. There are some videos that demonstrate that strategy and we might be able to demonstrate it here. Basically, you hold it later in the game, you discard it, and another player calls it for an exposure with a joker, and on, on your next turn, you exchange for a joker. Not sure if it'll work here, though, because we only have four discards right now. So let's see. We discard it. It's this player's turn. Nobody wants that nine bam. And here we have joker bait again. So let's keep that and discard the east. Joker bait is most successful in the middle of the middle wall or the third wall. And they have few discards, so I don't know if we'll get that far. I'm hoping one of these will win. We'll see. So we have the first round of discards. And East will draw. Green Dragon, we have too many flowers to play the Concealed Hand, but we could maybe get a Joker out of those and play Concealed. We'd have to discard out East. So let's keep that just to see and discard the 8-bam. Nobody wants it, so this is likely not good Joker bait. I would probably discard those. Seven bam. No takers. Seven bam. Nine crack. Another round of discards. Drawing for East. Let's discard seven crack. And draw for player two, South. Two! Oh my goodness, nice. We could Kong. Okay, we need help with this, these flowers. Let's discard seven dot. It's 
This player's turn, but this player can pong. No, we need to Kong. So let's Kong. A little risky. Pair, Pung, Kong, Pung, Pair. So we're a little weak right there with that pair. Oh, let's discard the 8-bam. Nobody wanted it. Drawing for East. Seven cracks been discarded. Okay, it's this player's turn. Two crack. It doesn't matter. Let's discard two crack. Okay, another round of discards there. Let's draw for this player. Eight bam. Drawing for north. We want a nine dot. We got an eight. That's good. We can pung that and be ready on a pair. Let's discard a bam. Drawing here. Four bam. Drawing for south. This was just discarded. We'll drawing for west. Seven bam. Drawing for north. Four dot. Is there one crack out? One crack. Edge tile. Down here, we're going to draw for east. White dragon. We'll keep it and discard five crack. And let's draw four west or south. One dot, two, two crack is out. Drawing for west. We need a four dot. Oh, we got a three crack. Let's see, let's discard the white dragon. We need a nine dot for north. One crack. Drawing for east. Let's see. Four, four. Wow, why does this keep happening to me? Four, 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 and four, 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 one. Four, 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 one. Four, 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 one. Four, four. Oh, this is right. Oh my goodness, I, I'm rusty here with solitaire. Three dot, or three bam. So there's four, four. Okay, so that's correct. I was thinking we had, didn't, ha or we had too many tiles. Okay, drawing for south. Not a keeper. Let's discard one dot. This is a pair for this player here. Okay, here's a three bam. We could do one or two, three, or one, two, three, four. We have two pair there though. Well, let's hold it and discard two crack. There's already a three bam and two four bams out, so I don't think so. I think we should stick with what we have. Five bam. Drawing for east. Three crack. Drawing for south. Eight crack. Six bam. Five crack. I don't think any of these have been thrown yet. Drawing for west. Seven crack. Nobody wants it. Six crack. Flower. We have our four. 
We have four flowers. We don't need four, really. What we need in here are Wes, if we're going to use all those. I think we should just discard. We don't. We really only need two. Let's discard a flower. This player's turn. Now, this player could quint, but we would use... Well, actually, we could wait and pick a joker later, maybe. We don't need to call for a quint on the west, and we can call for that. Let's go ahead and risk it and quint. Now, when you have two jokers out, it's a little risky, so this is a big risk. Let's discard five crack, and then we'll draw for this player. This player's mouth is going to be watering right now. They could switch to the maybe the concealed hand once they get those jokers or yeah let's just see so i got distracted four 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 two okay so we're going to discard green dragon nothing to do here drawing for north eight crack drawing for east whoa look at that <laughs> oh my goodness they had Oh my gosh, they had five flowers. All right, so we're going to exchange. Exchange, please. Let's see. Thank you. Thank you very much. So now we can do north and south with reds. So let's discard white dragon. And it's this player's turn. Now they're going to need to draw a joker. Four crack. Two bam. Let's see, four bams are all out. Let's discard that. Drawing for north. Three bam. That's out. East. Oops, seven bam is out. Nine dot. Let's see, four bam, nobody wants. We're gonna draw up here. We need a nine dot. Nine crack. Drawing for east, white dragon. Drawing for south. We need a joker. One bam. Drawing for west. Nine bam. Okay. So we're in the middle of the middle game. We need to look at the risky tiles in here that we have. So we need to start thinking defense probably because we still have a gap so i would discard probably the, the freshest tile at this point so three crack is out three bam is out nine bam is out no nine dots are out so let's discard that and this player's not ready for it two crack we could probably think the same thing here and throw the four dot because none are out. Two cracks been discarded. Nine bam. Oh, shoot. Butterfingers. <laughs> okay, drawing for south. Red. Risky, but we're in the middle of the middle game. It's this player's turn, but this player can Kong, and I would. That's a pure Kong. No jokers. So let's discard East. And now we'll draw here. We need a joker. East. Drawing here. Eight crack. That is out. Oh, actually, we were thinking of, well, it hit the table, so we better discard drawing for north joker okay now they're ready to win on a nine dot we'll discard two crack 
drawing for yeast. One bam. Drawing for south. We need a joker. Four crack. Eight dot. Let's see. Let's discard two bam or eight dot. Two bam or eight dot. Let's discard two bam. It's six one half dozen the other. It's this player's turn, but this player can Kong. And all we need to do now, after discarding the six bam, is draw a joker. Or exchange one in an exposure up here. Six bam. Drawing for north. Three dot. Okay, so three dot. We can call that for a Kong. Did I miss a two dot somewhere? I don't think so. The four dot. I kind of think this player might need to switch to defense. The three dot, we would have to Kong it now. One, two, three. We never got the four dot. There's one four dot out. I think we should go ahead and Kong it and just hope for the best for that four dot. We still have a big wall left. It could happen. Let's discard eight dot. Now we're going to draw for this player. This player could Pong and discard a Joker trying to get to a pure hand, but it would send off red flags. I would rather stay concealed, ready to win, and not draw attention to discard by discarding a Joker. So let's draw. Four crack. Five bam. Drawing for south. We got a north. What we really need is a joker. Okay, so it's this player's turn, but this player can Kong with that, and I would. It's a little risky because we're going to put out two jokers. Let's discard two dot. It's this player's turn, but this player can Pung. So we're going to, uh-oh. Oh yeah, they're ready to win. So they don't have any discards. They just need to draw a joker. So here we're gonna Pung. And discard three crack. Draw up here. Six dot, we already have a Pung. Six dot. Drawing down here, north, exchanging my own, thank you, discarding the green. Now everyone's going to know we need a south to win, so it's going to be really risky to discard a south right now. Let's draw. Nine dot, down, we're ready to win on a quint, and we have Mahjong up here, north. Five dot. Six dot, seven, eight, and nine. Pair, pung, kong, pung, pair. First hand under consecutive run. Here we're ready to win on a south, ready to win on a joker, had to draw it. But look, it's, it's almost pure, only one joker needed there. Here we had a gap, four dot, but they played pretty safely, I think. So then this player drew well. Who did you bet on? Did you pick the right player? I did. I bet on North. I picked North because it was in between, I think, the Quint and the North, or East and North. And I was, oh, here, this one, south, because they had a high-value hand. I was thinking 
yeah, let's, let's go for the value. But then I thought about this player had a joker, and it just seemed like the better choice. Consecutive run is very flexible. If you're very careful during the Charleston and picking and discarding, there's a lot that can be learned in a game of solitaire. If you have a set of tiles at home, give this exercise a try and let me know how it goes for you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.